What is going on, buddy? Welcome back to All Things Film. Today, I'm here to do my review of The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 4, which was a huge episode, so I'm very excited to talk about it, but if you haven't seen it, spoiler warning, but other than that, let's get started. So we had a lot of big good moments in this episode, mainly with Rick and Daryl, especially in that big Rick thing at the end. I'm going to talk all about that. And in this episode, um, Rick was trying to stop, the big thing was Rick was trying to stop Maggie from killing Negan at Alexandria, and then Daryl basically just said yeah I'll give you a ride to Alexandria and took him somewhere else and Rick found out and they broke out had a big fight and they had a really sweet moment though and one of my favorite Rick and Daryl moments like ever really it was really an amazing uh, Rick and Daryl scene so many great scenes and dialogue between the two of them and I love how it didn't cut to commercial breaks or cut to different characters it just like three four minutes straight just played out this entire scene between Rick and Daryl and great job by Norman and Andrew too because this was a really beautiful scene definitely the top five for me for Rick and Daryl moments of all time I mean without a doubt the best since like the season four finale this is an awesome scene and I also love the moment when Daryl said I would have died for you and Carl and you can definitely tell Daryl um, is regretting what he did because he really put him in a shitty situation he really did with all those walkers coming in and that was not just the Rick and Daryl stuff it was a great scene with the walkers and stuff um, it really had me at the edge of my seat because I'm not gonna lie with all this you know worried about you know it's Rick's final two episodes and you know we don't know if he's gonna die or live or whatever I was scared he was gonna get bit or something because we I don't know I don't know his final fate I don't really look at spoilers and stuff so I don't know how, what's gonna happen so I was really nervous that Rick was gonna get bit but um, and then they were gonna put that blame on Daryl and I can definitely I can still see Daryl putting the blame on himself because he kind of indirectly might have caused Rick's um, death in a way now i don't think it's daryl's fault but i'm saying daryl probably is gonna think it's his fault because if daryl never did that maybe rick wouldn't have gone to redirect the herd which kind of ultimately led to his um you know his brutal injury and i also love when rick said brother take my hand because it's not just fan service because it is fan service because you know we haven't had fan we haven't had moments like this in a while between rick and daryl but not only fan service this might have been rick and daryl's final goodbye to each other because we saw what happened to rick at the end we know what's next episode's gonna be you know his whole dream sequence so who knows maybe rick and daryl aren't gonna ever see each other again and you know that final um scene between them that the whole second half of that sequence when they just completely clicked back together and they were helping each other and being brothers i was all for that man and i thought that this rick and daryl scene was epic and emotional because in a way it could have been rick and daryl's final scene and I think it was definitely in the top five for me. I'm gonna talk more about that ending um, later on in this video. And I also have like an ending explained video coming out later also. But let's talk about Michonne's story this episode because I really did like Michonne and Negan scenes. I like what they did with Michonne in general. Like I like that whole thing of her being a mother to Judith and just taking care of her and just chilling at Alexandria and then also killing walkers and being a badass because we can see the two different sides of Michonne because she's a great person, a great mother, a great friend but she's also a survivor and a warrior so I did like those scenes between um, Michonne and Judith and then also Michonne killing the walkers I also really like what they're doing with Negan and it's really hard to see this in the comics because comics is just like paper and writing and stuff but because Jeffrey Morgan's charisma adds so much to this and we can really see Negan losing himself and losing his mind and when Negan started banging his head on the wall because he found out Lucille is still out there that that was really good like I did like that and I did I do like the Negan thing they're doing this at this season they're not giving us too much Negan because we just came off of two years of Negan but they're giving us the right amount of Negan and the scenes we have with Negan are great and I like Negan talking about his backstory more and I think that's what they're gonna do throughout like The Walking Dead um, because they probably aren't gonna dedicate a whole episode to Negan's backstory they might do like a spin-off or a miniseries but throughout The Walking Dead I, I do like these little um you know, uh, uh, nods and stuff to Negan's backstory and like nods to the Here's Negan comics, which are the comic book that has Negan's complete backstory. So I do like that. And it's really cool seeing like the TV show Negan talking about that. So I do like these little, um, you know, Negan moments like last year with Gabriel, this year with Michonne, with him talking about his past. Another thing that I really liked about this episode was I just like how Rick is really trying to focus on keeping everybody together. And, and we can really see that, you know, Carl's vision is 
slipping away from Rick, and that's what's really bothering him. We saw him getting emotional with Carol when she was leaving because he doesn't know if it's the right choice. He was really trying to get Eugene to, you know, um, talk about the bridge and stuff. And I also liked how uh, Rick was thanking Eugene and said something to Eugene like he's done like um, everything. And because we don't really see anybody saying anything nice to Eugene, so it was really cool seeing Rick saying something nice to Eugene. That was really nice. Before I talk about the Rick ending, I only got two negatives for this episode, and they're not even that big of a deal. One of them was Jadis, his story. I wasn't digging Jadis this episode because we've seen that before in, in last season with Rick and Negan. They both get tied up, and now Gabriel, and then she brings out some weird Walker contraption, and then she just stops, and it never really goes through with it. So we've seen this before. And I wasn't like all that excited for it because obviously the Rick and Daryl stuff definitely shadowed over this But I'm still very excited about the helicopter and I want to learn more about that because what we got with Jadis last episode and episode 3 I thought that was really good and I can't wait to see more and then the only other negative I wish we got a little bit more Maggie like actually seeing her go to Alexandria and that maybe that would have made it more intense You know Rick and Daryl trying to leave and then Maggie's getting really close to Alexandria I thought that would have really built up the um, you know the intensity of the episode, but it looks like that stuff is going to be happening next episode so we're going to have to oh we don't know because next episode well, we are going to get some rick and michelle next episode for sure but i just wish we got a little more this episode but that's pretty much it for the negatives nothing big still really really good episode but let's talk about that ending man holy shit was that crazy that horse is a douchebag that horse killed rick man can't believe it um like that was crazy rick was trying to redirect the herd and then the, uh, the, the horse just completely knocked Rick off the horse and he punctured his side. But let me tell you, dude, that final shot of Rick lying there all week and couldn't do anything. And the walkers are coming all around them. And that shot went on for a very long time. I didn't expect it to go all the way up. But that was a haunting shot, dude. Like, that was Rick's, like, body just laying there weak, couldn't move. And it's just so sad seeing Rick Grimes like that. But I have a more in-depth video talking about that whole ending, which I'll post later today. But Jesus, that was a crazy ending. <laughs> there is a lot of emotions right now that I'm feeling. I mean, I already know next episode is going to be super sad, man. It's going to be a wild episode. I mean, that promo was insanely, like, good. Like, I cannot wait to see that episode. It's going to be a sad one, though. But I have my episode 5 promo um, trailer video coming out today. I'm going to be doing a breakdown of that for you guys. We're going to be talking about next episode. We have a bunch of videos coming out today, tomorrow, all week long because it is a wild time right now for The Walking Dead. So hopefully if you guys are a fan of The Walking Dead, which I hope you are if you're watching this video, but be sure to hit the subscribe button for daily Walking Dead videos because we are in Walking Dead Prime right now. We got Rick's final episode next week. We got The Whispers coming in. Season 9, man. It is an intense season. But I am going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy video like i said be sure to stay tuned for the other videos coming out later by hitting that subscribe button and in the comments down below you guys be sure to leave your thoughts and reviews of the episode and what you thought about this whole thing because there is a lot of things to be talking about so you guys leave your comments and thank you guys for all the support on these videos i do appreciate it and thanks for watching guys it's been all things film and until next time peace